Alrighty, I'm just going to help you guys uh, get this virtual lab going. Uh, it's a little tougher to do uh, when you guys are on your computer, and I just can't walk over and say, hey, do that thing. All right, so hopefully hopefully this is like Mr. Abby in your back pocket. Everywhere you go. All right, so it's not too complicated, but, you know, it'll save you some time of just clicking buttons over and over and mashing away until you figure it out. Now I'll get 500 emails. I don't know how to move the water. So I'm hoping you do it right now. All right, so kind of goes along with your sheet that you will get. All right, if you're watching this, you already have. Okay, so directions are pretty good, but there's a few things I want to go over with you. So um, basically what you're doing, um, in a nutshell, is manipulating variables. So we've seen a lot of different examples of shows with variables, like especially the Mythbusters, where they're manipulating like the type of hand dryers being used, um, the type of talking and sound with the plants. Okay, those are variables, things you adjust to try to get a result. Okay, so this, uh, plants are always good because they're easy to control and they're easy to manipulate. Um, and they need things, and if they don't have those things, then things will change. So if you're wondering why we do something with plants, that's why. It's easier than with children. Children, they don't really sit in the pot very well. So, All right, so what we got here is we have different types of variables. I'm going to show you those. We got our water. Oh, yeah. Boom. I'm thirsty. Fill it up. I guess it always defaults to 50. That'll always be your default. All right, and so if you want to change your light, you got three bulbs. So there's three light settings. You have one bulb, two bulbs, three bulbs. Pretty simple. So right now it's on three. If you want to turn one off, click one. And down it's you. Down to one. And if you want to complete dark vampire plant, click it again, and it's dark. And then you just go ahead and click on the one you want. Not too bad. Sometimes you miss a little bit. There you go. All right, so we got the dark plant. I'm sure it's going to grow to be a giganto. All right, uh, what else you got? You got some things down here. So you got different types of beans. Three different types. You got tomato beans. You want to grow a tomato plant. You want a bean bean. I should say seeds, technically. Uh, so that's probably more accurate. So you have your bean seeds, your tomato seeds, and your ooh, everyone's favorite turnip seeds. All right. I might not even know what those are, but go Google it. Go Google turnip. It'll be exciting, I promise. Um, so there's three of them. So you have three pots. So if you want to do all tomatoes, hmm. all right, drag it on over. Oh, yeah. Drag it on over. Boom. Drag it on over. All right. Hit. Uh, you could put different ones in there too. All right. Mess around with it. You got your fertilizer and your compost. Uh, basically, some just nutrient type stuff that might help your plant grow. Uh, who knows? Maybe compost helps beans, but not turnips. I actually don't know the answer to that. You play around with it to find out. Then, uh, if you don't like what you did, up. Uh, clear your paths. Boom shakalaka. All right. So let's go back to your little form here. Um. The first one is just play around with it, right? Just practice it before you do it for reals, all right? So like right here, let's see, you gotta choose your seed to drag in each pot, okay? Uh, you can put fertilizer. There's no real rules to this. Like, we're so like stuck on the science stuff of doing everything the same, working the same. But for this one, you can just kind of mess around. So uh, how tall is your tallest plant? Don't guess, but it looks pretty tall. We're gonna use data. All right, so let's, uh, let's just mess around, right? I want a tomato. Let's say I want two tomatoes. Oh, let's do a bean, right? Okay. Oh, we're going to drown this guy. All right. Whatever you want. Okay. Uh, how about two bulbs? Okay. One bulb. All right. A little bit of water. Let's give him some light at least. I mean, come on. Give a tomato plant no water and no light? That ain't right. Tomatoes have rights too. They have feelings. All right. Let's give it three, right? That sounds pretty good. Okay. All right. So you got plants A, B, and C. So what you want to do now, uh, your handy dandy data. Oh, this is great. It does it for you. And we can make the graph you with the rulers and all that. It takes like 20 minutes. Auto graph. Okay, so once you start it, this is where it's going to go. So let's go back. All right, this is your day counter. So I think like, how many days does it say on the first one? We want to run it for uh, total, total end on this one. So it's 50 days. So yes, this will be a 50-day recording. It's going to be long. All right, hope you have time. Actually, it's sped up. I'm just kidding. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Goes pretty fast. All right. There you go. So we should be like days go by that fast, like Christmas. And oh, yeah, we're already actually, we'd be past Christmas right now. We'd be, yeah, we'd be in February. Blah. All right. So there's your data. Oh, look at that. Real time data. So you've got your data table and you've got your graph. Okay. Right? So it's pretty handy. Um, the different days. Uh, really, you'll be using mostly the, the graph, I believe. 
Okay, so right now it's got the plant height. Uh, say you want to do mass. Okay, they're different. Okay, all right, they're a little bit different. This is mass is basically how big it is, how much you weigh. It's got a mass height is obviously how tall it is. Yeah, I would stick with the bar graph. And right here is, is is useful. Reminds you what you did. So oh look at that, pot C did really well. Uh, what was in pot C? Right here, pot C is bean, two lights, seventy water, seventy milliliters of water, and soil. Okay, they all have soil. Can you even change the soil? I don't remember that. Get rid of the soil. That seems pretty mean. Um, uh, can you get rid of soil? I don't think so, actually. So they all have soil. That's a constant. So I guess I should say pot in there, too. All right. So, yeah, it's, you can't change the soil. I didn't think so. I was surprised to see soil there. That's a constant. That's fabulous. All right. Uh, so I uh, was asking you then to uh, put in a plant here. Uh, what plant was the highest growth? All right. Uh, copy and place the screenshot. So, <laughs> so every time I ask you guys to do a screenshot, it's usually a disaster. I get 4,000 emails. This is great. It's got a screenshot tool. I wasn't going to do I was not going to do the screenshot until I saw this beautiful gift from heaven. All righty, look at this right here. Okay, tools. Look at this. Screenshot. Oh, yeah. So happy. You're going to click that. Oh, yeah. There's another thing up there, too, if you just want a screenshot of the graph. But the whole thing. Look at that. It's beautiful. All right. Don't freak out. You're just going to right click. It works on a Chromebook. I tested it. But they're like, my Chromebook won't. Well, nope. Right click, copy image. Okay. Uh, you might have to do Control C, Control V, whatever, and paste it right there in that bad boy. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, man. I think the old days, you had to write it out and do the graph by hand. Nah, not today. Okay. Uh, right here, it says, what plant had the highest growth? Variables, so you just uh, uh, actually, you know, you got that there. You don't have to write it out, I'll, I'll make it easy for you. Just let me get rid of that. Uh, just type it in there, all right? Just say pot A, all right? I, I can figure that out. It, you got a lot of time in class, so I'll save you what I can the busy work there for you. Thank you, Mr. Eibling. You're the best. Ooh, it's on video now, all right? So that's kind of playing around with the first one. Um, the second one, uh, the same thing. Oh, wait, oh, I deleted that. That's totally okay. All right, that's that saves you time to I deleted the other one, and that's probably all right. So you're supposed to do like another trial of guessing, but let's just get down to business. All righty, so um, that's that's the first part. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Boom.